we're here to have a kickoff for, I hope, a very successful program in the future where young girls and can come and look at some grad dresses that maybe have been loved once. Some of them are brand new, the tags are still on, so it's kind of an exciting time for the kids to go shopping. What's happened in the past was that we recognized that there was always a few teens in a school that were unable to attend grad and one of the barriers a lot of times was the formal wear. Um, so what we did is we started locating or exchanging labor for dresses and, and then we realized that sometimes maybe there were some dresses that were out in the community that would be welcome to be used and the girls would say, oh yes, I'd love to you know, donate my dress to the girl to wear it. And after that, we re recognized that there was probably a large number of people that had beautiful dresses hanging in their closet collecting dust bunnies. And how could we get them back in to use again and allow young girls to attend grad and have a very special day? Although the need is great in the community, we also see the generosity almost surpasses that. So how it works is some people have donated the dress and are recognized that we put a small price tag to cover the cleaning and, and to supplement the boys' tuxes. Actually trade girls' dresses for fairly, that are fairly, you know, in style um, for jewelry. This year we've tried the consignment venue as well so that people have phoned and said, I would like to put it in. And we have found models for some and sometimes they've supplied. So it's, um, it's kind of a, this year has been definitely an experimental and we'll have to see what happens and what we can make work better. So good feedback from tonight is going to be very welcome. And normally I would start getting calls from the family school wellness workers or families in February saying, you know, things are tight this year and can we look at accessing what you may have. What happened this year was that there was a lot of families that contacted me in November, which was highly um, unusual, and I recognized that there was going to be a lot greater need. So how do we make this and connect the girls with the dresses that are there? So go big or go home, and that's kind of what we've done. I remember years ago bundling a grad into my car and going out to Karen's farm and going into her basement and this poor little grad was wondering what is going on here. This lady said she could help me with a dress and we walked into the basement and Karen had transformed this thing and there were some beautiful dresses there and you even got her some jewelry and, and had her all outfitted and I think that that was kind of the origins of the idea that this is something we can do for our kids and make everybody's evening just so much better. So we are remembering our guys as well. Uh, Karen does a great job of refurbishing the dresses and ensuring that they're cleaned and, and if there's any alterations or any stitching that needs to be done, it's all done. The beading is all fixed. These dresses are in beautiful shape and there's a fee charged, a nominal fee, and then there's a little bit of a fund that develops from that. And so if we have male grads that need a little bit of help with the suit rental, she's certainly been able to do that for us in the past as well. So it's just been an excellent service. I think that nowadays, I think that more and more families are realizing that purchasing, you know, a six hundred to thousand dollar dress is, is an extravagance that we don't necessarily have to have. These dresses tonight are phenomenally beautiful. The girls are excited about wearing them and displaying them, and everybody's interested in what this is all about. We're hoping to make it an annual event, and we can offer tax receipts for people who donate twenty dollars or more if they would like to make a donation to the gowns for grads. So that's a really nice, nice thing to be able to offer to our guests too. My vision was this wide and then all these wonderful people came in and expanded. I thought we'd just have dress, girls model a few dresses and then pretty soon people say, well, we could do the hair and we could do the makeup and, you know, and we, could, and we could have this happen and we could serve this to the, to the people that are coming in. And it was just a wonderful experience. Some of them are consignment, many of them have entered into the bank, which means that um, they can be the ones that are gifted to the young ladies if, they, if the times are really tough for the family. Otherwise, the dresses, some of them come in with eight and $900 price tags, and I think our most expensive one from our bank is about $150. So it's a wonderful way, I think, for, for teens to 
number one, look at the girls who go, I never been wear a dress anyway and I have to wear a dress to grad so I don't want to spend that kind of money. So those are the girls we hope to kind of capture. The other ones are going, well, I'm kind of green and I recognize that, you know, these you know, would be good to reuse something like this. We've got the... Um, the young women are going, you know what, I want to go to university and that extra three or four or five, six hundred dollars will go into tuition. And then the girls that are going, I, you know, I just want to go to grad. So we hope we can basically, um, it will encompass everyone so everyone has the opportunity to, to get involved with the program. When we look at what grad means for many um, teens is that it's kind of a celebration of 12 or 13 years of schooling and we certainly don't want anyone to miss out on that that um, is unable to supply themselves with the fancy attire that you would normally see in that and, and I guess we want to make sure that that chasm is not there between the people who have a lot of resources and the teens that don't. So we just want to bridge it so that everyone is there and is going to re have fond remembrances of the day. But this coming in this couple of lines, we really want to acknowledge all of you. So again, a big round of applause for these girls. Fantastic. Old Community TV, your go-to channel for news and information in Olds, Alberta.